Hi, I'm Siddha and in this video I will explain about producing line animation in R. So for that I will use the COVID-19 cases uh, by date uh, around the world uh, and I, I will use the ggplot2, uh, lubridate, diplier, gganimate and tdr package for this. So first, uh, let me download the data uh, that is available on the website of uh, European Center for Disease Prevention and Control. So if you go to the data infographics and video section of this website on home page, you can download the daily number of reported COVID cases by country uh, worldwide uh, on a daily basis. So you can just download this data. I have already downloaded this data and put in uh, the October 31st folder in my desktop. So uh, I saved the working directory as the folder October 31st. And I import the data set by using the read XL package. So here is my data and the data consists of the date of report uh, COVID cases, COVID deaths, country, territories, population, and continents, and it has uh, 60,000 observations. So the first thing I'm going to do here is to convert the date uh, variable into the standard date variable with month, date, and year only. For that, uh, I am simply uh, going to I use the as dot date function uh, and I'm going to create a new variable called new which is the new date in, in standard format so as date COVID data date report so I'm going to create a new variable new from the variable date report and the format is month date and year so if I run this line of code and uh, look at the format of the new variable so this has year, month, and date. So now I'm going to create a static plot by using the uh, ggplot uh, package uh, and few data transformation here. So, so this, this, this function is called the piping function that can be typed into R by just pressing Ctrl, Shift, and M button. Uh, so this this function can be read as then so first do this then do this then do this so so I I, I have created uh, I'm going to create an object P which is uh, import the COVID data into memory and then then group by group by new date group by new date and then uh, summarize summarize uh, uh, and then create new variable, create new variable, which is equals to the sum total of the cases uh, during that day. So first we group by date and then summarize uh, the total cases uh, on each day by simply this summarize function where we create a new variable total equals to sum total of the cases in that day. So then we create a new variable called mutate Sorry, we, we create a new variable by using mutate command. Uh, the, the name of the new variable is uh, total one and which is the cumulative sum of the cases of his day. So then we add a ggplot object here. Uh, we create a ggplot. Uh, the aesthetics are x axis is the new date, y axis is the cumulative sum of COVID cases, and we create a line plot color blue size 1.5 point plot uh, size 8 and the labels two levels the first level is the date the second level is the cumulative sum of cases by day and other other modifications color uh, and size so we also add the area figure by geo underscore area and we want to fill the area by red color so the theme we have used here is the classic theme uh, and this line of code uh, puts the size of 25 to the chart head 
h just horizontal justification 0.5 centers the title of the plot bold faced and dark blue color and the title of the plot is covid cases in the world x level x axis level is the date y axis level is the number of covid 90 cases up to this we have created a steady plot uh, now we want to animate the plot by using the transition reveal function and the 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 variable uh, the variable to be used for transition is the new date so this last line of code creates the animation of the covid cases uh, on a daily basis so if i run this line of course it will create it will create a line line as well as area plot and save it in the object p so now we are going to animate the p object a few parameters here frame per second equals to two number of frames 200 and the width and height of the plot 1200 so if i run this code it will create the frames 200 frames and start animating those frames so we, we, we can save uh, this animation in GIF or video format to save in GIF format. Uh, what we can do is uh, to or we can we can use the render option in the animate function render equals to GFSK renderer. Uh, and this is the default renderer in the animate function. And we can save the animation as covid.gif in our working directory by using the anim save command. So the creation of frames is in progress. Just 34 frames have been created, 80-90% complete. It will take some time to create all those 200 frames and after the after the process is complete it will start animating this is 43 percent complete so a few more seconds uh, 120 nine one thirty five frames okay seventy five percent we have to wait a few more seconds uh it's going to be complete okay now the, the animation is finalized and it has started animating the COVID cases so in this animation the the first level shows the date of reporting the COVID cases and the second level in red color shows the COVID cases for instance in 2020 March 9 the COVID cases are almost 1 million okay now what i'm going to do next is to animate the covid cases for a single country so i have i have taken the case of nepal here so i, I have created this plot now for the total covid cases around the world and i want to do it for nepal next So let this animation be complete first. So it's a 2020. So so since I have specified the width and height to be 1200 
and the animation is a little bit larger uh, so we need this space because the total COVID cases have almost crossed 66 million so the animation will repeat automatically after being complete so next uh, I want to plot the same chart for Nepal the only thing I am going to add here is the filter function the filter function and countries and territory equals to equal to Nepal so if I run this line of codes now it will create the same animation for Nepal same animation for Nepal because I have used the filter function so first, uh, in, first import the COVID data into memory and then filter the countries and territories to Nepal only. So it will plot, it will plot the COVID cases for Nepal only. So I have not specified the number of frames to be 200. So it will create 100 frames only by default. So this is the COVID timeline for Nepal. So up to Mars, there were only five cases. And then up to April, less than 100 cases. After the lockdown was lifted in July, the COVID cases uh, increased exponentially. And the steepest increase, as we can see, came after October, 2020. Okay. Thank you for watching this video. For your reference, I have put the codes and the data file in the description of this video. In the next video, I will explain how can we plot the uh, line chart animation for more than one country uh, in a single plot.